I can see also the email was sent last night at 2300 hours of which I was not told not to sleep and wait for this email. Unfortunately, I couldn't read it overnight. So Mzansi, this comment says she is the one that's being dishonest, misleading the court. Remember advocate... Um, Giaco, I think that's advocate Giaco that they're trying to write, was at one with her same representing number two. What did she say when Gomezulu said about Giaco? Absolutely nothing. So Mzansi, you know, let's try and define the word dishonest. Maybe that's where we need to start. We're going to go with the Oxford Dictionary and it says dishonest is an adjective, okay? And it's behaving or prone to behave in an untrustworthy or fraudulent way. For example, he was, an, he was a dishonest hypocrite prepared to exploit his family. Now let's take this back. Advocate Mshololo called Advocate Maloi dishonest. And please excuse my voice. I have a terrible strep throat. I bet we will go through it. Asikolapo. Okay. Advocate Valoi literally sent an email at 11 p.m. Okay. And he never told the defense team, don't go to sleep until we send you that email. Because it's going to be very relevant when Mr. Horses is on the stand. Because you're going to need that information. If you're smart, you'll stay up. Okay. Because you're dedicated to the cause. I, however, will send it at the end of the night. That communication did not transpire. And it happens in some cases, guys. It, that is not abnormal activity. So advocate um, Shololo is not in the wrong by pointing out that she wasn't told that she mustn't sleep. But had she been told, she would have stayed up. I mean, she she's very, very dedicated. I mean, she spent the holiday, which was workers' day, in prison, you know, consulting with her client as an exception okay because you know she had nothing else to do she hadn't received any of the other documents from Baloi, but you know she could have used that chance to also consult her client in prison um with all the other documentation okay asikolabo let's go back so who is dishonest let me know in the comment section Baloi for sending an email at 11 p.m or mshololo for letting the court know and putting it on record that uh, advocate Valoi did what sent absolutely nothing until 11 p.m at night okay so i think it's also important to point out as well that you know i think it's only fair that when someone leaves a comment saying that uh advocate um, Shololo is the dishonest one sometimes you know we don't have to agree but that comment is absolute reaching let me know in the comment section your thought okay your thought okay as a result my lord I would like to place it on record that this is a, a, a trial by ambush, my lord. Yesterday I had all the day to consult with my client on all the documents that the state is preparing or anticipating to use. However, the documents were not supplied to me, especially the affidavits which were marked by my learned friend, Mr. Baloy, that there are pages that are missing. You know, I really wanted to start this off from a sarcastic note, but I've learned very quickly that when I use sarcasm, it flies over some people watching and I get such comments in the comment section. What I really wanted to say was, what an absolute demonstration of dishonesty by advocate Mshololo by going all the way to the prison. That is so dishonest of her to go all the way to the prison and consult with her client, accused number five, who obviously is guilty of many other crimes. Let's just... All also make him guilty of the sins of me you at trial okay but i know better <laughs> i know better than to call your favorites anything um negative but so the commenter said that advocate michelle was dishonest and they they truly can't see why anyone would refer to advocate um Baloy as dishonest. So I have a question for you. Advocate Mshololo going to the prison to go speak to her client and I don't know where she lives or how far she had to go or how long she spent at the prison. But one thing I do know is that she can definitely produce proof that she was at the prison um i think they sign in when they get there there's the communication with the head of the prison who allowed this exception and so on and so on and so on okay but she's the one who gets labeled dishonest meanwhile what was Baloy doing waiting to hit send on the email at 11 p.m if that is not a demonstration a clear demonstration of dishonesty i don't know what is let me know your thoughts on that
And my lord, what is very bad in this trial is that the state is dishonest with this court. The state is not telling the truth in this court that they need time to investigate and to compile all the necessary records that are supposed to be supplied to the defense. So I think Mshololo gathered all her strength, okay, to say this and remain monotone, not raise her voice, and not yell, and not be disrespectful. I think she did a phenomenal job. I think probably she rehearsed this and just wanted to get her point across without any fear of persecution or uh, being cut off uh, by Judge Rada. I think the defense team actually chose a great time after, of course, there's a petition circulating around to actually speak their minds now my question to you is why didn't Baloi object when she said the email was sent at 11 p.m why didn't he object why didn't he come to tell us that no that is not true or we didn't have electricity or 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 Baloi said nothing he kept quiet so Msholono is not dishonest she actually told uh, told the truth in a court of law. Let me know your thoughts down below. Why did uh, Advocate Baloi not stand up and say, you know what, it was Wanda's fault. It was his responsibility. Why didn't he throw anyone in his office under the bus? Why did he just sit that one? I strongly through? object to the, the language employed by my friend say that we are dishonest. We are officers of this court. We will never be dishonest. No, English is not our language. Um, but I suppose that's not really what, or I want to believe that's not what my learned friend is implying, but we will never be dishonest. Okay. He is definitely an officer of the court. That cannot be disputed or argued with. It is a fact. But again, he does not address why they sent the email late. Neither does he apologize for sending the email late. Did you guys notice that as well? But before I get accused in the comment section of ignoring the Mjiago comment, let me talk about it here. So Mjiago was allegedly, um, we found out in a trial between a trial that he was representing Bonganin Danzi, but Bonganin Danzi said, who? I don't know him. Who is that? So I don't know why... Mjiago has not been subpoenaed. I don't know why Mjiago has not been subpoenaed to come to court to speak for himself, especially with that allegation, and clear his name. I mean, he is a learned colleague. How does this a statement affect him in terms of, from a legal standpoint, you know, these guys have taken an oath, okay, with the bar and, 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 but why is Mjiago not at all being called? Notice Anytime there's anything which is quite factual, Baloi doesn't act on it. It is the defense's responsibility to pick up the slack and then react. So I hope the defense at some point are going to call Advocate Mjiago to clear this up. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the Mjiago statement. Okay, thank you, my lord. They are honest. The state is honest, my lord. I'm changing from dishonest to honest. The state is honest. My lord, the witness is called now to the witness box to proceed with this trial, whereas we are being supplied with information which is relevant to this witness this morning. <coughs> Advocate Maloy has been caught with his hand in the cookie jar and he is just quiet. No objection from him yet again. Who is being dishonest? Today we're giving this, tomorrow we're giving this, and tomorrow we'll be surprised to receive other documents. That's the point that I'm trying to make, my lord. But I'm not saying if the state says they are not dishonest, they are honest. Is that sarcasm? My lord, it, it, it's because they are, are, are in, in front of the court, when my learned friend is making submissions, he's not being truthful to tell the court that we have supplied the documents which were incomplete on the 30th and we have not been able to finish the defense with the outstanding documents that's where it should it's supposed to start imagine your learned colleague bringing your english into question as part of his argument Rid 
ridiculous advocate Maloi. but imagine where advocate Mshololo has a whole llb and i'm not sure what other qualifications that she has which she obviously acquired in the english language and advocate Maloi uses that to say you know what english is not our language but i will assume that is not what she was trying to say good job advocate Mshololo, switching okay from dishonest and changing it to use untruthful i think that's a great display of the english english language and the command of english great job okay Shololo did what she came through with the english bundle and we still need time or we're still going to finish the defense with those uh, documents and explain the time as to when will we be able to be to receive those outstanding documents from the documents that we, we were finished with on the 30th on tuesday my lord to start with let alone the documents that were sent last night. We, we have not even given with a reason or whatever, even if we don't deserve the, the explanation. We received them last night and this morning we're expected to be ready to proceed with this witness. Mm. Those are my submissions, my lord. I'm, that's why I was trying to explain the honesty of the, on the part of the state who are working with in this case, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Thanks. Remember that time Oem Shalala said, beam it, beam it now when uh, she was being accused of having received the documents and she was saying, no, I haven't received them. I haven't received them. And you know what? If you guys, if Baloy and them, as the state is saying that they have sent it to me, beam it now. I'm ready to proceed. Excellent, excellent uh, job, I think. So in terms of responding to the comment about Mshololo being the dishonest one, let me know in the comment section your thoughts. That's it from us today. If you've made it this far, tolerating my voice with the strap infection, thank you. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on our next upload. But before you leave, do me that one favor. Leave with a like. So hit the like button. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. You'll see the colors come up and down on your screen and catch you on our next upload.